Well, it's that time again, collaboration time. Yes. And so if you haven't seen one of these, the collaborations where we team up with some of our RV YouTube friends mm -hmm. and we all talk about the same topic on the same day at the same time we put those out. So watch this video and then pop over to these others and check them out. And we have some very special guests. Yes. This month. Um, who used to be a OG regular collaborator, yeah, the original collab. <laughs> uh, yeah, Patrick and Patty from Travels with Delaney will be yeah. joining us this month, so make sure that you uh pop over and check out their version of what we're talking about this yeah. month, which is what we are talking about who we watch on YouTube. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a very diverse subject. I think some yeah. people are talking about like off topic stuff like mm -hmm. who they watch outside of the RV niche. Yeah. I think some of the collaborators are talking about who they watch inside the RV niche. Yeah. So just pop over to those other channels and see who, and you might get some really good ideas of something that you might want to watch. Yeah, something you hadn't heard of. Yeah. So first we're going to start with a channel that um, my brother started. Yes. My brother is a preacher in Missouri and he also runs a rehab center in Missouri and it's called Crossroad Ministry. Mm -hmm. So he preaches every Sunday, and I wouldn't say really preaches. I, I, preaches is not the word that I would use for yeah. it. Um, it's a different style. He sends messages. Yeah. And it, it is like like preaching. So it's a sermon, but and but they're short. Yeah. Usually twenty to thirty minutes, not very long. Mm -hmm. uh, inspirational, straight to the point. Yes, which I like because I'm a Catholic. Yeah. And I'll admit we're very boring. <laughs> when it comes to homily time and, yeah. and and the preaching it will could put you to sleep so and i like he, that his is different and he cuts out all the all the other stuff yeah so when he does edit the video down it's it's just meat and potatoes what you really need to know about the message i don't know about you guys but sometimes sometimes i'm even like god i don't even know what's going on i don't even feel like me anymore like something will happen in my life and I'm thinking, I know exactly what I would do before Jesus. And, and, and I'm not doing that. And sometimes I'm like, God, I don't even know if I like how much you've changed me. Because you know what they deserve, Lord. <laughs> and I'm just going to do nothing. I don't even know if I like that, God. But when that happens, I think of the grace that the Lord gave me. I did not deserve it. I didn't earn it. I didn't do anything to get it. And He still invested in me. Oh my gosh. And when I think about it that way, I didn't deserve a chance. I didn't deserve grace. I didn't deserve mercy. I didn't deserve forgiveness. I don't deserve heaven. And then, I, and then I find myself saying, they don't deserve it. I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to do it. And then I'm like, oh. They don't deserve it. But I'm going to invest in them because Jesus invested in me. And then he does something else that's really cool. They're called Sermon Jams. Yes. So this is like a one to five minute, it's like a sermon jammed into one to five minutes, like this little motivational. Very impactful. Yeah, if you're, if you're feeling down or having a bad day, man, go watch one of those. It'll pump you up, lift you yeah. up, and get you ready to go in for the day. So, mm -hmm. and when we're talking about all these things that, we're, that we watch on YouTube, we will leave links in the description yeah. to all these channels and some of their videos maybe if, if there's something really cool that we really want you to see. So that's uh, what we watch. And I wouldn't say that my brother would want me to tell you to go watch him preach. Yeah. He would want me to say, go watch Jesus preach through him. Exactly. Because it's not his message. It's just right. he preaches whatever Jesus tells him to just preach. Just delivering it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right, what's next? Who else we watch? Okay, second one that we like to watch is Ryan Hall, y'all. Yeah. Mr. Storm Chaser. That's a good one because he he does the very best job of anybody that we've seen. The most accurate. Yeah, and because we travel, we don't always get the local channels. Mm-hmm. And we, sometimes we don't know what county we're in. Yes, I have to Google it when we get there. <laughs> but Ryan Hall, so he does, he, all of his regular videos are like predictions, forecasts, what's coming up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, predictions of the hurricane seasons, tornado seasons, things like that. But when inclement and extreme weather hits, yes, he goes live. 
Big gas. And he has chasers on the ground mm -hmm. that are all over the country, wherever this extreme weather is. And you get up to the second, what's going on? Where is getting the extreme weather? Tornado warnings, watches, where tornadoes are on the ground, who needs to take cover, yeah. all that stuff. So when extreme weather hits, we turn on Ryan Hall and make sure that we're protected. And we will be this week because this week we're in Ohio. Yep. And it's it's about to get crazy in yeah. the plains right now. So we'll be watching yeah. Ryan Hall <laughs> this month. Yeah. All right, the third, it's not really a single channel. It's more like a genre. Yeah. Which I just started watching a lot of, and that's cornhole. That's right. Because just started getting into it, started <laughs> getting really competitive, started yeah. shooting in tournaments, and started getting Leslie <sighs> Teaching shooting. me how to properly throw. Because <laughs> it's not just, you would be surprised, it's not just throwing a bag in a hole. No. There's way, there's way too more much to, it. to it than that. <laughs> so there's technique, there's different kinds of bags. So we watch channels like uh, ACO, which is the American Cornhole Organization, the mm -hmm. ACL, which is American Cornhole League. League. Because if you want to be good, you got to watch the pros. Exactly. And you got to see what they're doing uh -huh. and their techniques, what kind of bags they're using. <laughs> and then we watch um, cornhole bag reviews because you got to know which bags are doing well. You'd be floored at the <laughs> diversity of bags there are out there. Well, there's different speeds. Yeah. There's different speed on each side of the bag. There's different different speeds for types of bags. There's different flex. Some of them are a little more floppy, so they roll into the hole a little easier. Yeah. So I watch cornhole bag reviews to see, because I know what type of bag that I like. Yeah. So I see what kind of bags are out there, how they're working for the pros. So I watch like, uh, there's a channel called Cornhole Bag Reviews. Yeah. And then Mike's Bags, he does mm -hmm. a really good job. So it's just a, it's a different niche outside the RV stuff. It's a science. It is. Cornhole, proper cornhole playing <laughs> is a science. And because a lot of the tournaments that I enter are like blind draws, I show up, I draw a partner, I don't know who I'm drawing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get a great partner, sometimes you don't. Yeah. So I gotta teach this one to be a partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a whole lot of Jesus for this. <laughs> but she's doing great. She's doing great and getting a lot, lot I'm better. Trying. I've tried. I've only been practicing for what, maybe two weeks? Yeah. So I, I'm all right. Yeah. Maybe I have some natural gift in me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. In all honesty and full disclosure, we don't watch a lot of YouTube. No, it's hard. It is. With, and why we didn't pick f our friends who have YouTube channels yeah. for this talk. Because I don't want to single any particular people out because I love them all. Well, yeah, in the RV niche, we watch a lot. And yeah. we didn't, we, it would have been hard to pick two or three. Yeah, that's just impossible thing to do but inside the rv niche we watch our friends people mm -hmm. who we have met who we consider friends um and then other people who we think who are entertaining who we would like to meet who, who we feel like they would be just fun to hang out with yes those are the type of people that we watch mm -hmm. um then there's there's some types of people that we don't watch yes in all niches but specifically for the rv niche um you know those channels who are just all drama all negativity hypocritical or just not authentic so, yes we just don't come off genuine no so we just it's not our thing and we just try to stay away from yeah. those we hope that you're trying to stay away from those too because we know drama sells yeah yeah and we hate to see those types of channels grow it really irritates me yeah it, it is frustrating yeah and there are unfortunately there are youtubers out there who buy subscribers Yes, that's my biggest pet peeve. Buy views. So, yeah. so some of your favorites out there who look like they're a huge channel, they're not that big. There they are some that fluff. Bought some subscribers. Like that, yeah. If we find out that they did that, we will immediately stop watching. We will immediately unsubscribe because we don't want to uh, be a part of helping someone not honest right. yes. progress and be successful. Exactly. Um, unfortunately, there's a couple channels out there too that, that bash other other YouTubers. Yes. Very hypocritical. They'll take jabs at people. We've even take personal jabs. We do take jabs. We've taken personal jabs from from some specific channels mm -hmm. who have said, you know, our our donations are not authentic. That we're, we're we're not really donating yeah. the money. And yeah. and bashing yeah. us for taking on sponsors, affiliates, doing collabs. We've even taken jabs for doing collaborations like this. Um, and then since then, the channel yeah. who's jabbing at us are doing all the same things that they're jabbing at us for. Yeah. Uh, so. And then if you call them out in the comments, they'll just delete the comments. Yeah. So we try to stay away from yeah. anything drama, anything negative, hypocritical, not authentic. We stay away from those completely. Yeah. No room in our life for that. Not at all. And we're not going to say the names of any of those channels. Yeah. And the reason why is because then you would go and watch. 
Yes. <laughs> and we don't want we to don't give want them to anything. To so we don't want to draw any exactly. attention to them or give them, give them any kind of momentum because we just feel like they don't deserve it. Yeah. And we've actually had some people send us messages before saying, hey, you, I know you've been with these people before, but you should know and they tell us stuff. And so it yeah. is helpful that way too. Yeah. Or to, have you seen this comment? Or have to you seen weed this? out who we should allow in our life and not, yeah. or not. So anyway, that's it for who we watch. Yeah. And for those who we don't yeah. watch and why. And of course we watch other than those three. Yeah, yeah. That's just, just the ones we want to highlight. Those are the three we, we, we watch the most of exactly. that have nothing to do with our RV lifestyle. Yeah, so make sure you pop over to all those channels that we just talked about that we watch. And then after you watch this, make sure you pop over to all the other collaborators in this in this collaboration mm -hmm. so that you can see who they watch. Yeah, I'm excited. I think we're gonna get some good ideas of things to watch that we didn't even that, know was cool. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna be like, how did we not know about this? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen mm -hmm. hero. And if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of this video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.